Good day, everyone, and welcome to the Onion Network. I'm London Onion. And I'm Mascara Onion. For today's story, we're going to be taking a look at the most recent update, that being Update 26, and take a major exploration of the new map, Trumbull Valley. Now, to help things along, this exploration will be done with one of your more experienced communities on the Lethal Difficulty. But your main aim will be to look at the base locations, new bounties, changes in combat mechanics, and the new landmark outpost. Correct. Now, this will be an organic exploration since I didn't want to spoil anything for myself. The main limitation with this exploration is that I won't be able to purchase all of the bases for an in-depth look. But, let us transition into the story. Alright guys, we are live! So this is going to be now our exploration of the new map that's supposed to be coming out just today, actually. I'm actually, actually, yeah, yeah. There's actually quite a lot of stuff to go through here. I'm not going to actually read through all of this, but I have picked up on a few tidbits that I thought would be really interesting. You know, we got some new weapons, new outfits and hats, a new thrown explosive, which should be interesting. Track down uh, Mickey Wilkerson to see if he'll share a few bottles of the Wilkerson Special Reserve. A particularly volatile product of his family stills. Okay, well that will be rather interesting. I'm not particularly educated on that one, but all right, cool. Uh, visit Trumbull Valley today. Yes, we definitely will be. Hold up a sec. You can explore Trumbull Valley any secrets by starting your community and choosing. Okay, or you can travel. To okay, good. Uh, your existing communities. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Three mini themes of matching items. All right, there's a lot of stuff going on here. My goodness, each mini theme includes a melee weapon, a primary firearm, a sidearm, and an ultra lightweight bat uh, backpack that are beautifully color coordinated. Okay, allowing your survivors to deck themselves out. All right, cool, cool. Superficialities. Uh, new stuff from the bounty broker, pretty much. But what I'm actually really focused on here are the game improvements. This one actually really caught my eye. Enhanced ammo stacks, that can actually be really nice. Being able to carry more than 30 at a time or for each uh, inventory slot will be really cool. And it's for all sizes. Jeez. All right, without filling your pack. Yeah, that's awesome. The finisher one, to me, says, like, you know, whoa, that, that's really cool. Finishing moves can be triggered mid-attack, and survivors who have specialized in fighting default to faster finishing animations when surrounded by zombies. That can come in so useful, and it makes so much more sense. Vehicle headlights stay on, okay. When exiting, wait, hold up. Your survivor now leaves the headlights on when exiting a vehicle, okay. It won't run down the battery, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's actually really cool. I really gotta try this stuff out and see how we do guys. So this is going to be uh, just an exploration. For those of you who have seen you know, past news reports, it's pretty much going to be the same style. I'm just gonna dive in with one of my more experienced communities, get the lay of the land. Um. And just see how we do. Alright, um... Ah, uh, yeah, let's just use these guys. We'll use these guys. Alright guys, let's see what we've got. Definitely keeping it all lethal. Uh, I would go green zone, but... I mean, what's the point, right? I could. I could go green zone. Just to show things? Ah, eh, whatever. Let's keep it interesting. We're doing all lethal, guys. I mean, I can't remember the last time I've actually picked a lower difficulty. I always go with the hardest difficulty. Best way to learn, in my opinion. But anyways, let's see what we find here. Alright. He claimed a base in the Trumbull Valley map, and the loading screen is not even gone yet. Alright, cool, I'll take it. I don't even know what kind of supplies we have. I'm probably gonna have to take out a few hearts just to fast track a few things. You know, maybe to at least get a look at each of the bases. I can't say that I'll definitely like, you know, buy them, but I will visit them, you know, just to take a look and stuff. Whoa. Sure All them. right, food is bad, bad, bad. Guys, whoa, I might end up losing some people, Jesus. Okay, we need to like move immediately. We have no water, no power. This base looks garbage, my goodness. We need to get the hell out of here. Alright, alright, this is our map, guys. We already have hostels on here. Alright, so... Pterodactyl Park. 
Only cost 500, requires 4 people, so I'm guessing it's one of those small maps. One large slot, definitely not going to do. 4 small indoor slots, 9 small outdoor slots. It's actually a lot of slots. Alright, this one, Farmland Compound, 3,500, damn! Okay, we have the influence for it, okay, cool, cool. We're probably gonna have to visit that one first. Four large outdoor slots, Jesus! That is massive, requires only six people. That's probably gonna be our first spot so that we can actually, like, hold up. This place looks really cool. What's this one? Fort Marshall, requires 2,000... Oh, this one requires eight people. I only have seven. Okay, two large outdoor, five small indoor, nine small outdoor. Wow, these bases seem insane. I probably don't even have to go for the central one, although that would make the most logical sense. This map is huge. Okay, this is awesome. All right, this is great. What's the landmark one? Uh, Echo? Eco? I'm, I'm guessing Echo. Echo Lab Research Station. Two hearts, not a problem. Okay, it's a landmark one. I'm a, uh, I don't know, based on the name, research station. I'm not really sure. Maybe you can, like, craft some interesting stuff there. Red Talon Daybreak Fob. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay. One large outdoor slot. Not going to do. We're going to need at least two. So I'm probably going to go for the central one. 3,500. Oh, Tranquility Factory. We missed that one. Two large outdoor, five small indoor, seven small outdoor. Yeah, there's a lot of slots, man. It seems like almost any base can work. It would seem so, anyway. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go for the big boy. We are here. This is going to take some time to navigate. Uh, once I get myself to the new base, then we can actually like start scouting stuff, because my people are suffering right now. Okay, I guess you're a fair... Yep, you're going to be the one. Yes, we are. We're going to fix that real quick. Jesus! 83 you can hold. I want, Can it go any higher than that? Oh my gosh, let's, let's see. How high does it go? Okay, so I guess depending on the ammo type? Yeah, okay, so that size goes 60. Uh, you guys, I can hold all 48 of you. Okay. Uh, what else? 102. 60 again. Okay, yeah, those really tiny rounds. Oh my gosh, what about shotties? 60 again. Okay. So it would seem like uh, these ones are the only ones that actually just, like, you go ridiculously high. Um, it would be nice if I can take, like, maybe packs of 10 or something instead of having to, you know, ration it out by tapping the Y button. But still, it's pretty awesome. That is really cool. Yeah, this girl's a beast. Let's go take care of some hearts. Fast track this bad boy a little bit. And we need to take care of that guy because he might be some trouble. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Here we are, guys. Trumbull Valley. Now, I've never actually... Oh, jeez, yeah. I actually can't forget that. Because I'm starting with, uh, you know, experienced people, the resistance is going to be high. Uh, so this should be an interesting exploration. But yeah, I've never actually, like, you know, played in Trumbull Valley. I don't know much about it. You know, so this is all going to be completely new for me. Maybe some of you who are... Um, you know, I guess a bit more devout fans than me of State of Decay. Maybe you've been here since the first State of Decay. You might know more about this map than I would. Or maybe at least, you know, the characters and the storyline and all that great stuff. Alright, how are we getting there? Yep, that's our turn. Perfect. Now we got to scout out those hearts. Hey, no. Stop. Alright, let's see. Let's see. How is this combat going to work? Well, actually, I'm using a heavy weapon, so, I mean, I don't know if this is really going to be the best, like, way to figure it out. There's only two different types of executions for heavy weapons. Alright, that's going to make things a bit harder to judge, but okay. That's a lot. Alright, well, luckily this girl can run, you know, indefinitely. She is, you know, one of the badasses of the group, but this feral is going to make things rather difficult. Yeah, resistance is high, guys. If you come in with high enough skills, oh boy, you're going to be met with an army. Come on, come in, like, t try to tackle me. Thank you. My goodness, resistance is something else. Perfect. Oh boy, I did not mean to do that.
so might be a good idea. All right, perfect. I think we have cleared out our first spot. Perfect. We can take that base now. It's going to be ours. That's the one base that we're actually going to get an in-depth uh, uh, in look on. The rest of them we will visit just to, you know, just to see them. Kanabo? Is this like one of those, um, is this a new weapon now? Interesting. We'll take it on. Why not? Another pistol? Yeah, it's a nice strong one. Those are almost gone. Yeah, I don't really care much about the meds. I think we're already stocked on those. Alright, cool. Okay, that base is going to be ours. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what's got. All right, all right, all right. Refugee clinic. Okay, sturdy bunkhouses, backyard barbecue pit, three large outdoor slots. It's looking quite... Honestly, all of these bases, they look really, really good. Seriously. Oh, look at that. You can drive through the cornfields. <laughs> I'm, I'm just really liking, like, this added detail. You know, sure, I can crash through a fence, but, like, I'm driving through a cornfield. You know, that's uh, it just seems so... It's, it's an interesting touch of detail, alright? I like it. I can appreciate something like that. Cool little campsite. Where are we going? There you are. Alright, that's gonna be our first base. Looks like the most expensive one. Although, the, the other less expensive bases... Um... Like, they seem to be... Bigger. You know? I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll explore them. No worries, guys. We'll explore them. Okay. Jeez, this place is huge. Wow. Unfortunately, though, we have a lot of Zeds to actually get out, so this is going to take a little while. Well, better her to deal with it than anybody else, right? Alright. That took way too long. Yeah, guys, if you're going to start here, man, starting with a new community... Whoa, okay. Okay, we've got a lot. We've got a lot to do. Put up the generator now. No. Yes. No. We need a rain collector. Rain collector, you. Generator has to be outside, so solar array is our only other option. Okay, we can clear that up. Solar array, how long is that one going to take? Eight minutes? Maybe we can wait that long. So, in regards to sieges, this base just seems perfect, but, I mean, I haven't seen any of the other bases, so I don't even have anything to compare it to, but, you know, you have a nice little overwatch here, you see everything. It's a really large and impressive base. Uh, there's almost no reason why you wouldn't be able to fit, you know, a lot of people in here and be self-sustaining. Alright, look at that. Even when Ish decides to hit the fan, you still have some more Overwatch. Wow, this is really cool. This is a cool base. I really have to see the other ones. Uh, just to make sure I can make a fair comparison. Alright guys, I would say that we are pretty much past, you know, the really grueling stage of having to build ourselves up. So now the exploration can actually begin. Yes, I have some other things building up in the background, but I think we are okay to carry on. Um, we are going through a little bit of starvation, but hey, I think we will survive. Now, we do have some survivors up here who are requesting our assistance, and I think that's where we can actually get a true look at what maybe, you know, the combat changes could look like. Yeah, you know, roads really aren't much of a necessity now, which is awesome. Uh, I love being able to just... It's almost like Mayor Valley, you know, at least that's what it feels like. It feels like a Mayor Valley with some roads here and there where it's like you kind of have to follow the path. Oh, okay, hugger is starving. Yeah, no worries, dude. Um, we'll uh, we'll get you some food. Look at that. There's a diner right there. I don't think there's actually any food in there. Never mind. No, there's nothing in there. All right, I have no idea where our infirmary actually is because you know this base is just so damn huge. Interact, interact with. Oh, look at that. I walked right into it. That's awesome. Look at that. Everyone's feeling empowered. Let's just heal you up because we definitely have meds to spare. Might as well use the pathology option too, right? Perfect. Good. Now this guy's really ready to go.
Now, something that keeps on showing up is, you know, bunk rooms enabled or disabled or something, you know? I'm not sure what that's all about. Maybe it's a glitch of some sort, but uh, so far it hasn't been really affecting my, been affecting my community, so I'm not too worried about it. Ooh, a narrow tunnel. This is interesting. Don't see many tunnels in the other maps. Okay, don't want to get, you know, wedged in there. Oh, meeting Cleo. The doctor is calling. Interesting. I'm guessing that's one of those, um, I guess, story arcs that doesn't seem to be specific to any kind of leadership. Okay, all right, fine. Let's see what the heart's got for us. Because I really want to test out this combat thing. That'd be kind of fun. Now, we're definitely not using the right person for this mission, but um, I'm somewhat confident in my abilities here. Oh, this is different. Oh, this is very different. This is not going to be very good to hit. Oh, this is bad. This can be kind of bad. So, they changed up the heart location. Okay. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I don't think the radius reaches that far, but we're going to try and get this bad boy as close as possible. I don't think that's close enough. Got it. Just mark it with smoke, huh? you take care, okay? Oh, snap! Alright, so it still hit the heart. I gotta get rid of this Pharaoh before I can actually see what fighting can do. was ineffective. Oh, seriously, I swear that went right through him. Yeah, screw you. Okay, this combat might be kind of difficult, guys. Because there's a lot of these guys here. My goodness, this might be a hard experiment here. Okay, let's see what we've got. Maybe we should thin out the numbers just a little bit, huh? Let's go for the heart first. At least uh, should stop them from spawning so hard. Should only take two of those bad boys. Okay, that's definitely the much faster version. Come on, guys. I got, I got, still got a couple energy drinks. Come on. This is definitely a blunt weapons job. <laughs> that's for damn sure. Yep. That's, there you go. That's number two. He did it again. I gotta do it one more time just to verify. Come on, come on, come on. Let me have him. Look at that. It's actually pretty consistent. Oh, he did it again. Okay, so it works. It definitely works, guys. Whenever you want to use, um, you know, an execution in close combat like that when you're surrounded, it works. All right, let's get rid of these guys in a way that doesn't destroy my vehicle. There he goes, does it again. I really appreciate that aspect. Let's use the obstacles, come and get me. Okay, just not those executions. Yep, there he goes again. Okay, I really like that, that's awesome. No the barrier there you go all right 
right, guys, I appreciate that, uh, that little enhancement in combat. It'll come in extremely useful. Yep, there you go. Keep it up, man. It's obviously not perfect, but I mean, hey, it's combat, right? <laughs> Alright, I think we should just, uh, not get killed out here. But alright, cool. Combat checks off. Perfect. Next on our list, we gotta check out the bases. I like that it actually at least says what kind of trader it is, so you don't have to go there and waste your time. We don't need any meds, so we're fine. We're gonna go take care of that heart, and then we can actually go see what's, uh, what's up with the other bases. Alright, so with all that out of the way, we are going to be moving on to check out the first um, alternative base from our own, of course, Pterodactyl Tark. I'm going to call that Pterodactyl Park, okay? I don't know why it's written like that, but that's interesting. Uh, one large outdoor slot, three small, uh, three small outdoor slots. Alright, let's go check her out. Now, it is next to some hostels, so, you know, hopefully those guys don't try to fight with me, but... Yeah, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. We could take... No, we can't take that way. Uh, whatever. We're going straight ahead. We're going to take the curve there. Okay, here we are. Is this the spot? I think this is the spot. Alright. Jurassic Junction. Oh, look at that. Beast. Let's go inside. What does it look like? Alright, comparison looks uh, a bit more crampy, you know, compared to my, bra uh, my current base right now. Unfortunately, it's not going to show us the whole schematic. It only shows my own base. Uh, where is uh, that thing? I think that's what we need to actually take a look. Nope, can't even look at it. Damn. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, the most we really have then is to look at this bad boy. Uh, Grizzly Remains. Yeah, we've already been through all of this, so it has two um, additional smaller slots to look at. Four parking, though. That's still impressive. Soundproof latrine, good for morale. Trailer park storage. Okay, good for storage. Trailer park beds. I'm not sure how many that actually means. Unfortunately, the info is unfortunately limited, and I'll have to take out a heart to actually take a look at it. Which is not exactly impossible. We could do that. Oh, look at that. It has a bit of an overwatch spot. Okay, okay. Not a bad base. Not one that I would personally choose anyway. Oh, but I mean, it's not a bad looking base. Alright, that's enough from you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't. Um, I'm not really too, like, worked up about exploring this one in particular. Looks rather, like, um, it looks like a basic one. The cheap home that you probably may not want to move to. Um, but alright. So that was Pterodactyl Park. Where else do we have to go? We still have to check out Fort Marshall. That one I think will be very interesting to look at. Uh, Tranquility Factory. And the last one up in that corner, Red Talon Daybreak Fob. FOB, whatever that one means. Alright, alright. So we're going to check out... We are closer to that one, right? Eh, not really, actually. And there's no other bases up this way. Just missions and stuff. Cool. Red Talon, yeah, that one looks really interesting. Only requires five people. Fort Marshall. Fort Marshall looks interesting. We're, we're going to check that one out next. 
All right, what's the fastest way there? I guess we could take the bend. Oh, I think we can actually just go right through the fields, right? I think we can try that. That's, uh, I guess, one of the perks of this uh, this entire map. You can just go, like, in a straight line. Oh, yeah, going through the cornfields. You gotta love that. I really love that they added that. The only thing I'd really be afraid of is running into, like, a, a bloater or something. But just look at this, man. This looks great. Oh, just, it's not maybe not the greatest view. Look at that giant mountain. All right, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Look at that. Just, just look at this. Guys, don't scream. You're, you're ruining, like, the moment right now. All right, I would say this just looks amazing. We got to see the moon, too, at some point. All right, guys. All right, that's enough. That's enough. All right, exploring more of the landscape. You know, this this open like this open section just seems to be like a complete free for all. You can go wherever the hell you want. Bounty brokers right there. Sure. Let's just go take a look at the bounties. We'll take a look at the bounties. All right, nice suit, dude. All right, what do we have that is new here? What is this? Oh, we got some stuff that I can collect that I wasn't even aware of. Okay, dude. All right, hold still, man. What do we got? What do we got? The trifecta pack. Guys, stop. All right, what do we have here? What is this? Complete four missions with a follower. Okay, sweet spot bat. I'm surprised I didn't call it Lucille. All right, uh, 35... Zombies armed with melee attacks? Oh, dismember 35 arms. Okay. I don't really care much for the weapons. If anything, it's usually the firearms. Oh, what's this? Collect 10 food. Okay. Day pack, hard can. All right. When you experience joy, yada, yada, yada. Great. How many space does it hold? Seven. For one pound? That is amazing. Collect 25 resources, collect 10 fuel. Yo, uh, screw this bounty. I don't really care much about that one. We might as well just get started on those too. Let's take a look at the weapons. Kill 10 ferals with a ranged or melee weapon. Uh, I mean, sure, it's all doable. Nice durability, quietness, meh. Uh, they just seem like mediocre. Oh, nice power. Damn, that's good power. That's a good one. Dismember 70 zombie arms with ranged attacks. Okay, uh, let's get these out of the way. What's this one now? Okay, nice accuracy. I like that. Quietness, also meh. Two ferals with vehicles. It might take a while, but it's doable. We definitely want the backpacks. Collect 10 food. Or 10 fuel. Food is probably going to be, you know, yeah. I like both of these. These can probably do really well with us. Is there anything else? Okay, no, that one's timing out. We've seen the rest of these already, too. Okay, interesting bounties. Interesting bounties. Dismember 35 Plague Zombie Legs. It's very specific. I don't care about that one. I don't really care much for automatic weapons. This is a nice hard hitter. Nice to give someone, too. And it doesn't require me to use a revolver. Uh, not you. This one. This bad boy, yeah. Keep one of the backpacks. And... 25 resources. Yeah, honestly, these can be extremely useful. These would be really nice, actually, for my um, stealth survivors. Yeah, that's cool. Those are some nice bounties, guys. Should probably keep those ones in mind. Okay, put that in the trunk, and we're going to have to carry you, but I guess, you know, we really don't mind traveling like this. It's fine. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. All right, nice to know that we have a gas spot uh, nearby just in case. Fort Marshall. Is this you? This is you. All right, cool. Here we go. Here we go. This is Fort Marshall, and this place is massive. I think it's even bigger than my old base. Wow, this place is huge. Hold on, let's look at the specs one more time. Parking, that's, well, definitely four. I'm not surprised. Military shooting range. Who's close by? Will you guys leave me alone? All right, good. All right, so they got a shooting range. All right, cool. Military clinic. I'm not sure if that really differs too much from, you know, uh, any other type of clinic. Like, does, is that different from, like, 
my refugee clinic. I'm not sure if it's an automatic uh, third level infirmary, but I can only assume so. Cramped barracks, I'm assuming that will carry a bit of a morale penalty. Mobile catering station. Um, mobile catering station. I'm assuming that's for food. Maybe this is it. Yeah, mobile catering station. This must be it. Alright, so you guys uh, fought off the horde. Alright, good stuff. Cool. We can spare the ammo. We'll be fine. Can we? Do we have any ammo growth every day? Nope, we need an ammo outpost at some point. Alright, yeah, this place is really huge. Like, wow. Oh, what a dick. Alright, let's see what else we've got in here. Okay. Not sure what all this is. Elevated ground, which is always good. Pretty sure Pharaohs can still climb up here, though. You, stay away from me, please. Oh, none of them fell? Okay. You guys are getting hella annoying. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is a nice base. This is a really nice looking base. I can't really speak to any of, like, any of the base's efficacies. Okay, nice little outpost or overwatch here. I'm not sure if there's going to be, like, a, an ammo penalty, though, because it has, like, overwatch like that. It's rather common for there to be an ammo penalty. Oh, man, this is definitely, like, the Warlord's uh, base. This place is pretty cool. Massive, just huge. Like, this really puts Camp Kalanqua to shame. Almost. Camp Kalanqua has a lot of, like, I would say, wasted land. Um, this place, I mean... Command oh, don't touch me, please. Uh, yeah, this place... I'm guessing this is where the barracks would be. Or either that or it's clearable. Whichever one, not really sure. But okay. That cloud will kill me. Look at this. Very nice base. Very, very nice base. Very useful overwatch. Okay, so this is Fort Marshall. Yeah, I can't really do much to reflect on the base's efficacy, but... I mean, it looks promising. Oh, jeez, we got another feral. Okay, we got more than one feral. Alright. Nice looking base. I still like my base, really. I have no regrets with the base that I chose. I think it's still... <laughs> Maybe, if not the best base, one of the best. Two large outdoor slots, one small indoor, one small outdoor. It can work. It can work. Okay, next on our list will be Tranquility Factory. Just based on the looks of it, I don't know how it's really going to be, but we, just, we have to see the base. We got to see the base. It's all part of this exploration. And it would have been really nice to have like a sports car instead or something. Okay, okay, I think we're here. This is the spot. Well, what a rundown looking place. Good lord. Alright. It seems like every base here is kind of big. Except for Pterodactyl Park. Maybe that was the... Well, it's the cheapest base, so I wouldn't be surprised if it is the smallest. I think that's only reasonable. I really gotta get this girl to drop, like, something. But we can't create any more outposts, because, you know, everywhere is saturated. Uh, I can repair the vehicle. I eh, might as well just repair it. Get this thing off my, my pockets. Or... Alright, there we go. Problem solved. Don't have to use the repair kit yet. Let's go see what this base is all about. Alright, Tranquility Park. No, Tranquility Factory. That's what it's called. Two stories? No way. No way. I don't think so. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, well, this is an interesting setting. Keep hope alive. Yeah, that's what I do. Guys, come on, man. Yeah, that's great. Okay, okay, not a bad looking base. Hold on, we didn't even look at the specs yet, hold on. So it's got four parking, a factory, incinerator. 
Uh, that one I'm really I'm not really sure what that one means. Factory incinerator, factory storage, so it's got good storage. Meditation garden. I guess that's uh, just a morale boosting thing. One large outdoor slot, two small indoor slots, two small outdoor slots. Okay. Um, it seems like a reasonable base to have. The only thing that I don't think I'd really be able to get along with is the one large slot. I usually like to have at least two, but it's a very, again, another spacious base. Very, very spacious. Like, I'm quite impressed. <laughs> hope. What's up with these guys in Hope? Ooh, grow. Weird little bunny rabbit that's probably on acid. Alright, alright. I'm not sure what this place used to be. Maybe anyone who's, like, played Trumbull Valley or, like, you know, the first uh, State of Decay. I don't know if it's related or not, but maybe you know. Nature finds a way. Wow. Such a hopeful, uplifting place. And then there's this asshole. I guess this is the storage unit. Is this, like, the medica meditation area? I think that makes sense. But, all right, interesting base. Interesting base. I wouldn't take it personally. Uh, only because of the large slot, but otherwise it does seem promising. Okay, that was cool. Last base on our list, the Red Talon Daybreak Fob. Again, only one large slot, which is, you know, I'm not exactly the happiest about that. Uh, two hearts, man, we do have to explore the landmark, that's a must. We have to see what's at this landmark uh, outpost, just for myself. Maybe some of you already know what it is, but... I have to explore it. That's all going to be part of this whole uh, review of Trumbull Valley. So far, everything is checking out, though. You know, the combat's checking out. The bases are, I would say, impressive. Uh, even the smallest base. It makes the smallest base in every other map look like, like a playground. Like, the smallest base is, like, a medium or close to a large base in, in the other maps. Alrighty, alrighty. We are almost at... The next base, and this place, I must say, is like, uh, first of all, it's ridiculous to even get to, but just crampy, and oh man, yeah, it just, it just feels like a lot. Oh, look at this, this should be really interesting. What is that, a Ferris wheel? Are you kidding me, dude? What is this now? What is this place called again? This is the Red Town Daybreak, Daybreak Fob. I don't know what the hell Fob stands for, but all right, let us take a look at this bad boy. We got to go in and see what's in there. Come on, can you, like, yeah, piss off, please. Alright, let's see what we've got. I don't want to drive my van in there and get stuck. Pretty sure the entrance isn't too far. Yep, we're good. As long as that play card is nearby, this place can't really be secured. Let's not... Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright, you guys again. Jeez, that was ridiculous. Okay. Here is our... Red Talon, weird, whatever, FOB base. And it's got a giant Ferris wheel. I'm not really sure if there's much significance to that, other than it's a really cool landmark-looking spot. But all right. It has... What did we say again? Oh, yeah, the Cleo Relay. Yeah, we've seen that. Ransacked Red Talon Bunk Room. I guess that's good for beds. Rancid Red Talon Office Quarters, or Officer Quarters. Is that going to be like a morale penalty? That much I don't know. Neglected Red Talon Workshop. Okay, that's good. Red Talon workshops are always good. Red Talon armored storage. Okay, good. Parking for, uh, as usual, Red Talon watchtower and large outdoors. One large outdoor slot. The base seems all right. It seems uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, the pterodactyl park. A bit smaller, but still bigger than most of the other bases we've seen in the other map. There's the Clio relay. And this is, oh, okay, all right, all right. This base looks actually rather interesting. And yes, of course, another ladder for Overwatch, I'm assuming. I mean, regardless, it can be used for that purpose. <laughs> wow. Well, look at that little basketball court, or, you know, whatever, games and stuff. Not sure if that's, part, uh, if that's actually usable or not. It would be cool, though, if you could actually use that for morale bonuses in this place. Although I think that's considered outside the base. Um, nice little defensive spot. It's a bit smaller than I thought it would be. Not exactly, again, this would not be my first choice, only because it only has one large slot. And as you guys know, I always like to work with at least two large slots. But I mean, hey, 
I'd have to actually be in the base to test its efficacy. I'm pretty sure there's many other, you know, content creators who have actually been in each of these bases, but god damn, that'd be a lot of influence and time. But alright, alright, cool. Now, we gotta move on to our baby. We gotta see what this guy is all about. This one we're really curious about. We still gotta take out a couple of play cards just to see it, but that much we can do. Alright guys, so that heart has now been taken care of. We can finally move on and find out what is inside of this lab. I might have an idea. The fact that it's saying lab or ego lab, whatever. Oh, it's right there. Why am I driving? Um, I might have an idea. Um, I'm guessing you can craft. Look at that. Hold up a sec. Biohazard. Oop. All personnel. Yada, 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 yada. Research bio lab. Is this thing pretty much going to be... Hold up. No way. Is this place going to be where you can craft, like, bioweapons? Let's find out. Hold up. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Hold on. Biochem crafting serum production? Oh, it's probably for cure, I'm guessing. Specimen incubation. Here, you're switching. Yeah, supply locker, safe area. Yeah, yeah, all the basic stuff. All right, let's see what this thing is all about. The new outpost is secure. All right, what do we got, guys? Okay. All of them require 100 influence. I'm guessing that's going to be commensurate with the difficulty that you play on. Since this is lethal, I'm guessing 100 is the highest. All right, biochem crafting. With this strategy, we set the lab up in a way that allows us to transform plague samples, yep, into advanced biochemical consum uh, consumables and thrown weapons. Okay, so that basic stuff, we got that. Serum production. Experimental plague-derived serums that temporarily boost health or stamina. Okay, so like Zedi, I guess. It's kind of like that. With only minor plague infection as a side effect. Yeah, yeah, right on lethal. I think it could, gives you like a good third of infection. They're not portable. We can only make and use... Wait, what? You can only make and use them here? I mean, I'm willing to activate it just to see what it's all about. All right, specimen incubation. Oh, no way. Is this one, Can you create plague samples? With this strategy, we can give ourselves the ability to use chemicals and meds to multiply our supply of plague samples. Oh, that's perfect. Yep, if you need extra plague cure, you can also use plague samples to craft a small amount of meds. Oh, that's pretty awesome. That one's really cool. This is all pretty cool. This one's, you know, more basic, kind of like the biochem station, which is cool. Serum production, we're probably not going to be using this one. Uh, we can only make and use them here, though. I'm kind of curious. Let's just activate it. Let me see what happens. 100 influence will be fine. Okay. Craft booster serums, and that's for changing strategy. Okay, what do we got? Use health serum, plus 30 max health for 31 minutes, okay, plus 5% plague infection. Oh, only 5%, oh, that's really not a lot. Okay. Cause plague samples, a bag of snacks, and parts. Okay. Okay, yeah, plus 5% plague infection, but it doesn't give you plague infection, like, immediately. Use stamina serum. For 31 minutes, plus 30, Okay. That is... that is cool. Okay, so, I mean, if I can only use it while I'm here, does not mean I actually have to travel up here just to use it? In which case, that could be kind of lame. Infestations aren't looking good, but, you know, whatever. Um, Alright, that's interesting. Uh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Open the outpost. Let's switch up strategies. Um, with this strategy of ourselves. Okay, let's activate this one. Another hundred, whatever, it's fine. Alright, cool. Multiply plague samples, plus eight. Okay, it requires two chemicals, one unit of meds, and ready to get back out there. one plague sample. Okay, that's actually, that's not bad. The only thing here that's not really replenishable is the chemicals, because you have to find those, but still, it's awesome. Recycle bio-waste. Damn, if only it just took plague samples. Ethanol and cases of chemicals again. Oh, pathology helps with this one, that's nice. Okay. All right, that is, that is all really cool. That's pretty cool. The one that I can see myself using the most still, though, would be the biochem station. Um, it really helps for one that actually doesn't have this in their inventory. You don't have to wait for someone to randomly call you up for a stupid mission to find their stupid supply drop. Now you have this. And I can only assume that the costs will all be the same, unless you have pathology. Yeah, look at that. Everything's the same. Very nice outpost. This is kind of cool. This is cool. Okay. Yeah, this one would probably be my favorite option still. 
Uh, but the other ones can be useful if you're really into boosting your like abilities that much. Uh, but with you know five percent increase, eh, meh, meh. Uh, having a boost in health, I think I'd rather just use my infirmary. Can I do that? I think you actually need a medical person to do that though for your infirmary. Yeah, you need knowledge of medicine to do that. Plus, it costs you know three meds. Plus fifty max health though. I mean, for one hour, so it's even double the time. Look at that. Um, yeah, personally, I'd rather just have a med person deal with this kind of stuff rather than go to the outpost for it. But it's still a nice option to have, nonetheless. All right, yeah, we gotta keep that stuff going. Um, but all right, guys. Jeez, I think I've explored everything I really need to explore. You know, the main limitation of this whole exploration really is uh, that I couldn't buy each of the bases to look at. Uh, you know, their slots and all that. Particularly the Cleo relay. You know, in the uh, what's it called? In the Red Talon Daybreak fob. I'm not really sure what the Cleo Relay does. It's not a failed Cleo drop, so I'm really not sure what it does. Uh, that much, I don't know, maybe someone can uh, uh, can tell me on that one. Uh, but yeah, I would say that concludes our exploration. We technically did not go as far as up here, but I don't think there's really much else to see. We saw the bases. I'm personally happiest with the one in the middle. The only other promising one is the, you know, Fort Marshall. Um... Yeah, it would be worth looking at, or, you know, possibly buying, but it requires 8 people, however, it is, you know, 1500 less than the middle base. But still, I like this base. Very spacious, huge, easily sustainable, uh, with 7 people, I could still technically take on another person too, and I think we'd be just fine. We're producing what? Oh, snap. Our stuff fell. Yeah, we'd typically be producing, like, 10 food a day, uh, with the stuff that we have. But alright guys, thank you for- Oh, Jesus Christ! Whoa, not cool guys, not cool. That was a very interesting scare. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, 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 that's enough of that. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Cool beans. And then look, look at this guy, look at this guy. Fine, we'll get rid of you. Quite an interesting exploration, London. Perhaps a playthrough in the Trumbull Valley map would be in order. Perhaps. The map is rather impressive in its landscape and little easter eggs and story arcs. Although that wasn't included in this exploration, we will likely get more familiar with them in the near future. Each of the bases were quite large and seemed to have a high level of versatility. Even though you favored the central base for its large slots, I imagine that there will be other ways of creating self-sustaining bases. Absolutely, Mascara. But such a discussion is more fitting for a seminar. But anyway, that is all this onion- That is all these onions have to say. I'm London Onion. And I'm Mascara Onion. This has been your Onion Network. Signing off.